Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, so bringing you another 2v2 here with Admiral Price and uh, you know I'm sorry I haven't put out too many videos but I've just not been playing you know after the patch uh, for like two days it was great and I was just fighting all kinds of different balanced armies and uh, variety and it was awesome and then like two days later people decide to start spamming Naginatas both monks and samurai uh, but all I've been seeing is monks uh, which is why I brought this army. This is not a katana core. This is a missile core. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd be like bringing missile cores regularly. But when you know what you're going to be fighting with a 90% certainty, why wouldn't you? I know what I'm going to be fighting. It's going to be knocking out a monk spam. Now, this battle wasn't too spammy, which is probably why we won. Uh, the battle we fought just before this, each guy had like eight uh, knocking out of monks. And I'm convinced now that that war cry does stack because we're having our armies instantly route when the, the battle lines meet and they all pop war cry and our, our line will seriously just instantly route. We won't have time to get cavalry behind them. Uh, cavalry is just kind of obsolete now with uh, the Naginata spam. It really is. Uh, you can't break the monks. And if your if you're infantry line is just going to get routed by war cry, you're just screwed. So that's why I didn't bring any. I brought no cavalry. Let's look at my setup. Uh, two katana vets, uh, then two fresh katanas, and then three Naginata samurai. Just uh, meet to hold down the infantry, the enemy infantry. By the way, my all of my uh, veteran katanas have morale upgrades. They're still instantly routing with the war cry. Probably the only reason why we won this battle is because they weren't just totally spamming Naginata warrior monks. Uh, but I'll get to that when I finish my, my side. So, um, in light of every single army I've been fighting, I brought eight bows, seven bow samurai, and my bandits. So, you know, like... That's how you're gonna beat monks. You're just gonna shoot. You just have to kill everyone. So I brought a bunch of bows, uh, three Yardi Ashigaru just to kind of cover. Uh, that's my army. Over here we have Admiral Price. Uh, nice, uh, really balanced and widely varied army. He's got a lot of attendants here in the back row. Uh, two bows. I believe they're both samurai. Uh, a bunch of cavalry. Um, some bow calves. Some Naginata monk calf. Uh, and then on his uh, melee line, he's got some Yardi Ashigaru, some katana samurai. I think he's got a warrior monk. Uh, no, actually his. He has a monk cavalry, which will account for the war cry. Up here is a Waka Raider, of course, uh, to take the workshop. Now, luckily for me, there is a uh, archery dojo here, so we're going to try and take the billies in this battle. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, I said they were spamming too bad, uh, which is true. This guy over here, blue, uh, has a lot of warrior monks. I think he has five, uh, at least at least five. There are four out right now. One comes out a little later. Uh, then three Yari Ashigaru, a bow monk, and uh, what's this? Is this a katana hero, I think? No, this is a sword attendant. I think, wait. That's ah, Tetsubo Monk. Interesting. Tetsubo Monk hero. Uh, so, a lot of monks for this dude. Not quite as many for this dude. There were three Naginata monks, but then there were just a shitload of uh, Nagi attendants. A um, couple, three, I think, three Yari Ashigaru. Uh, then a bunch of Cav. A couple Naginata Monk cavalry and uh, Bow cavalry. And what's up with the Naginata Monk cavalry? I'm watching maxed out melee generals lose 101 to Nagi Monk cavalry. Uh, and I've had, I've, I've had three cavalry units, two lights, and a Yardi cavalry getting up on one Naginata Monk cavalry. They all lose. It's that war cry. I don't get uh, I don't get why CA buffed monks. Why were they buffed? They were perfectly fine before the patch. Uh, it's like it's like it's March all over again. We have like a revolving door of the same old stuff. Anyway, purple stuff's going to guy come out. Uh, it's kind of too bad um, that he's relying on this monk. Or he's actually a pretty skilled player. Uh, I really hate to see that kind of skill get wasted on... Uh, uh, builds that, you know, take advantage of those kind of overpowered units, but uh, he's going to have three Naginata monks making up his core. Uh, let's see, how many bow cavalry would he have? Just two. Uh, he's got a couple Naginata monk cavalry hiding off in the trees as well uh, with his Yardi Ashigar. So they're going to kind of come together here. We thought they were going to camp, <coughs> which, to be honest, would have been the best thing for us. Uh, and uh, Purple did kind of camp, which is too bad, uh, for him at least, because I have a crap load of bows. So I'm, I can work well with camping. One good thing about the Missile Corps is if you happen to fight a camper, uh, battle's definitely in your control. So we're just going to capture these buildings right away. Now, this replay did get corrupted like every other replay I have after the patch, but it's not too bad. Uh, it, you'll still get the gist of what happened pretty well, uh, even though a couple units were out when they shouldn't. Uh, but not not too bad. So we're just going to take a look. His bow cavalry is coming out early to kind of threaten us, but um, you know, not I'm not worried about that right now. We just need to get these buildings under control. A couple bow cavalry is not going to cause too much damage, especially... Uh, we have pretty heavily armored stuff with, uh, like, Naginata Samurai, which is going to waste a lot of arrows on my Naginata Samurai. <coughs> Admiral Price moving his cavalry, doing some nice screening, uh, putting his army up front. And uh, one thing that really worked out for us is they didn't synergize very well, and uh, they're going to kind of split up and allow us to uh, kind of gang up on them. Now, we didn't gang up on them completely, uh, as you'll see, but 
Uh, them being split up turning you up would be pretty bad for them. Even with the high ground, uh, look, terrain's not that important in this game. It's not a huge factor. Downhill charges are great. I uh, understand that. Uh, uphill charges aren't so great. Uh, but it's not a deciding factor. Terrain is not that scary in this game. I proved countless times in countless videos that terrain doesn't really that matter that much if you have a good strategy. Uh, it's one thing that at least holds true still. Uh, so they're just going to let us have the buildings uncontested. This archery dojo is going to be huge for us because I have eight bows. Uh, no, only one vet on the bandit, but this archery dojo is going to get us seriously uh, buffed up. I'm also bringing the two plus five bow accuracy retainers, so my bows are pretty buff. Uh, so Price is kind of here. He sees blue going over there and is setting himself up in a position so he won't have to attack straight uphill. Uh, I'm just trying to hold down the archery dojo. Uh, I notice they're splitting up, so I'm just kind of being a block here in the middle. Uh, maybe drive a wedge between them if Purple decides to camp completely and uh, leave his uh, blue friend to, to the wolves. So his uh, cavalry is also going out uh, on some early action. I'm going to double speed it here. Sorry about the lag uh, in this filming. It's kind of low quality. I have to do this on my laptop, which uh, if you've seen that one video I made about it. Uh, you know, it runs pretty well, but... Um, I'm on like medium-ish settings, but uh, with the fraps, it still don't get such a great frame rate, so I'm getting, what, 9 frames per second? Nah, it's not great. Not great, but uh, my desktop's out of commission, so sorry, guys. Uh, at least the mic's really good on this one. I really like the mic on this laptop. It's built in. Uh, anyway, enough about my laptop. Uh, he is coming in with a Nagi attendant to try, I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he's just trying to block my archery dojo, but uh, <coughs> I'm just going to kind of form up here, and, uh, you know, nothing really good's going to come of that. Um, he's also trying to take the workshop, and they're trying to put themselves in like a sort of camping position uh, where they can keep uh, stop us from keeping these buildings, but it's not really going to work. Uh, my bows have started just tearing into this Yari Ashigaru, who's down 50 men already, uh, just sitting above 100 men. Uh, and I'm going to have a uh, some of my units come over here and take care of these attendants. Look at me just kind of running through them. No, wait, was this a corruption? It might have been a corruption. But I think there was a battle there, so it's not completely inaccurate. I swear, Creative Assembly really needs to get on these replays. Uh, I think it's arguably the most important thing, uh, because without replays... First of all, it's a stupid issue that just shouldn't even happen, but... Uh, enough ranting about that. His Bow Warrior Monks are shooting into my uh, lines. A little more important at the moment. Um, he's kind of got infantry coming down here uh, to threaten my bows. So I'm going to be careful about that. I'm just kind of trying to micro as much as possible to cut off any routes of attack while Admiral Price gets into position. Uh, speaking of getting into position, his battle has already started. Uh, coming up here against these Yari Ashigaru <coughs> in Spear Wall, uh, along with, I believe, yeah, this is a monk over there. And so uh, there's that war cry, the infamous war cry. But see, when it's not spammed, it's not too bad. See, they're still in the kind of greenish yellow, so uh, not a huge deal. Uh, Admiral Price doing a good job of keeping the enemy spread out, as you can see here, uh, attacking all entirely on one flank, and if you can break up the army into smaller pieces and take them out chunk by chunk, you'll be in much better position uh, to win the battle. Uh, try and keep your army balled up in one big fist and hit the smaller sides of the enemy. See, I don't remember this. Oh, this is Price's Nagi that intended, of course. He changed his banner color, so I'm still not uh, uh, completely used to that. So that's actually Admiral Price's Nagi that intended. Um, he, but he's going to be kind of threatening my flank here, but I have the three Yari Ashigaru and Spear Wall and uh, Katana Samurai here out being a freelancer. Going to try and take out some units early. Uh, my bows are just tearing into any units to get too close. Um, <coughs> they're the key to this battle. Uh, that's how you win against Nagina Monks. There's another war cry, as you can hear. Uh, but the Admiral Price is still holding strong. His cavalry is coming around the rear. He's also getting some infantry around to flank too, just Yari Ashigaru. But hey, any flanker is a good flanker. Um, my bows are still pouring into him. That's when I'm going to split off some of my bows, uh, who are already starting to shoot into the enemy, but I'm going to split off more of them uh, and move into a better position to really support Admiral Price and help him out over there and kill those monks uh, with my ranged attacks. Now, he's still shooting into me, uh, but for a while he was shooting into my Naginata Samurai, which is a waste, but he has started shooting into my bows, uh, which is a, I should have maybe caught it earlier and put him into loose formation, but I'll do that shortly. Um, any second now the bows, there they go, the bows are splitting off, I accidentally picked up a katana samurai too, uh, and so he's gonna run up there with him, and he'll end up just attacking on the right flank, hey, why not, uh, meanwhile, the flanking action has, uh, been pretty well done, uh, too bad he has a Naginata Monk Cavalry, uh, attacking prices, I don't get how these Naginata Monk Cavalry are so strong, you think they'd be kind of in the middle being Naginatas, but, well, they're monks, and, uh, I don't know, CA has a hard on for him or something, but, uh, Anyway, it looks pretty bad for Price here. He's starting to get balled up on uh, his one flank, but they're holding really well. Uh, we have Wavering here from the Ashigaru, and my bows are almost in. Yeah, listen to all those war cries. Uh, my bows are already in position, uh, or at least almost in position, and I'm going to have a Katana Samurai moving up on the flank too. 
Uh, what's left of my bows over here are just shooting into the enemy, trying to take as many units as I can early. <coughs> as you can see, more bows uh, are moving up here. Let's take a quick look on price aside before uh, I focus a little more on mine since I knew what was going on over there. Uh, Blue has popped his rally. Uh, looks like price is going to hold strong to the war cry. He's still in sort of yellowish blue uh, morale. His katanas are in good shape. Uh, my katanas are moving up as well. Uh, but here comes some cavalry in here to kind of mess with uh, my katana samurai. And that katana samurai will end up dying. Uh, they're going to be a huge threat to my bows who I was moving up at this point. Uh, but I was kind of microing over on Price's side, I believe, at this point. So I'm not going to quite catch it, uh, catch it uh, quick enough. But uh, I'm going to get it just in time to get my Yaris up there. Uh, the Katanas do a good job of blocking the charge. And my Yaris are going to be able to cover, as slow as they are in Spear Wall, uh, to cover my bows. And my bows are going to pull back just in time to uh, save my skirmish advantage. And the Katana, or the Cavalry is going to run off. Anyway, back to Price's side. Uh, held through the war cry pretty well. This side has almost completely shattered. Uh, just one Naginata attendant who is wavering now. Uh, fire arrows going into the enemy, as you can hear there. And uh, look at this. Another war cry there from those Naginata uh, cavalry. But Price is holding strong. Uh, I didn't actually lose a bow samurai. You'll see one of them shattered. That didn't actually happen in the battle. Uh, but there goes my uh, fire arrows, who are now having all of my bows shooting into the enemy general. It was a 30 men. Uh, but now he's starting to get his shot at. Lost a couple men there. Uh, and he's starting to waver. Uh, my Katana Samurai has reached the enemy line, and we're just going to pour in now. Uh, we see the shattering there. More fire arrows coming from my guys uh, to clean up Blue, <coughs> who's now been completely surrounded uh, by Price's force. And the rally is wearing off, so you can expect Blue to be routing shortly. I'm still holding strong in the center, just trying to skirmish as much as possible. His general's getting torn into, down to 20 men right now as he's pulling back. I have my Katana Samurai kind of freelancing and just running up and trying to hit the general, but he pulled back just in time, and I figured at this point he was just going to get mowed down, so I just uh, had to make a desperation charge into what was uh, left of purple. Uh, back on Price's side, uh, his rally is worn off. We see the wavering. He's completely surrounded. Price's melee general is up against the Blues general, uh, and it looks like he's going to win here just a moment. Uh, my bows did a good job there of helping him out, but yeah, it was mostly Price. He gets credit for that one. Uh, my bows are moving back to my side now. The blue is just about to completely shatter. And Admiral Price's force is actually in really good shape. Uh, it looks like he had a few units route, uh, but they were mostly, you know, just some cav, uh, probably some attendants too. But his line is in pretty good shape. He's still got plenty of infantry units. He's still got both of his bows, which would be huge. <coughs> and uh, he's just alive. Uh, and I am pretty much in perfect shape. Uh, I've lost that one katana samurai, but other than that, my infantry line is in nearly perfect shape. Uh, I've lost, I think I did lose one bow unit to the skirmishing, but uh, I still got plenty left. They're in loose formation. Uh, the ones coming to reinforce over here on this right heel are full strength too. And uh, just about now I started targeting the enemy uh, bows to try and really secure that skirmish advantage. Uh, who's running now? Probably yeah, another bow samurai. So uh, yeah, there was some rounding. I think I did lose a couple uh, bows at this point when he started really counter skirmishing, but I still have plenty left. Uh, and I'm shooting back into his bows now, telling Price to get his cavalry up there to attack the bows. One thing the cavalry is still not obsolete for is uh, killing archers. Uh, so he does have his cavalry moving up here along the left to try and take out uh, Purple's bows. Still got plenty of cavalry left. Look at all that. Uh, but look, a bow cavalry. What's this? Looks like just a yard. Oh, no, I think it was a light cavalry. Uh, sorry, I can't tell with the unit cards as they are. <coughs> But Price is just going to kind of reform. He's a little slow there on the reforming, but uh, he did a good job against Blues. So I'm not going to blame him too much. Uh, my shit units are kind of taking the uh, bow shots here. Uh, actually, my Ashigaru held up pretty well against the uh, the oncoming tide of the bows. He actually dismounted his bow cavalry uh, to make him a little better at shooting. Uh, pretty good choice there with the skirmishing. Not much a bow cavalry can do at this point. Uh, he's got his camping spot. Um, not going to really be able to move much from there. And uh, sitting in the forest where my bows won't be quite as useful, and it will give a cavalry penalty too. So uh, now it's just skirmishing. Uh, it's my bows against his, against his units. Trying to maybe get some shots into the uh, enemy general when he's sitting up there, and his uh, Nagi monks too. Gonna definitely need to take those out. So I'll just put it on double speed. Uh, again, sorry for the lag, but not much I can do about it. Uh, he's moving all of his guys up on top of that hill. Uh, just sit and wait this one out. Uh, now, it seems like we got the win here. It's basically a two versus one. Uh, Admiral Price's force is still in great shape. He's actually going to uh, get a nice little jab in there with uh, 
with his cavalry. Only lost 10 men there on his bow warrior monks. But another attack uh, from the side there is going to crash. Whoops, get that tree out of the way. It's going to crash right into these bow warrior monks. Do a really good job of taking out as many units as possible. Uh, maybe it was good, as quiet as it could have been. He was in loose formation. Uh, but down to 48 men. Does a good job. Anything we do to secure that skirmish advantage is going to be huge in this battle. <coughs> So I'm moving my Yarish Guard, which is kind of be sacrificed at this point to protect my bows, uh, because a very terrible thing is going to happen to to my lines. My one big advantage is going to be almost completely wiped out by a really great move by Purple, uh, and maybe again a testament to the uh, the overpoweredness of these monks. But he actually has a Naginata monk cavalry hidden in these trees, and when I move my bows up to skirmish better, uh, he's going to rush out there with a Naginata monk cavalry. Up oh, here it comes. Uh, and route almost all of my bows in one go. He's going to charge into this uh, bow, it's going to send uh, wavering all over, and then he's going to pop a war cry, which is going to instantly route almost all my bows. They're shattered, shattered, wavering. Now, it was corrupt at this point, and I didn't lose as many bows as it'll show, uh, but it killed, it, it routed like five out of the eight bows, so I had three bows left after this. I think uh, with the corruption, it'll only show one as, as surviving, but uh, I had three, um, so it will affect what's left. I haven't watched the replay past this point because I kind of decided that it was too corrupt to show, but uh, then I decided to do it anyway. So uh, um, there's because my general in with the rally to try and save my bows. And I'm going to save one of them there, and I save two more, uh, but this one's going to route. It'll show, and then uh, as it'll be corrupted, it'll show it as reforming and then just standing still forever. So uh, my bows were going to reform back here behind my infantry line, which again is in almost perfect shape. I lost one unit, but the rest are totally fine. So uh, not a big problem there. <coughs> we're just going to try and pinch this guy. I'm going to be on his right. Uh, Admiral Price is going to move over to his left, and we're just going to pinch this guy after as long skirmishing as we can. Uh, so again, I'm going to double speed it. <coughs> so it was a good move there by Purple to catch me off guard and move into my bows, uh, get that war cry off, and he just routed all of my bows instantly. War cry is just rough. I'm pretty sure they buffed the cry itself and not just the fact that it stacks. Uh, but he did waste his rally there as he saw it wearing off. So, uh, good for us. Uh, his general, it's just one of those things in these games. His general is going to get hammered over and over and over. We had, we had like four different attacks against him, including uh, many skirmishes with the bows. We're going to get him down to two men, uh, and he's going to be wavering, and we just will not be able to route him. I don't know if he uh, used a uh, an, uh, retainer that buffed his morale. There goes the bonsai charge into the general uh, from Admiral Price's melee general. And we just tried to kill this general, and he just refused to die or rout until the very end. Uh, it was just, it's just one of those things. Uh, you know, your units kind of suck, and then the enemies just pull out these heroic stuff. It happens. Uh, and there's a nice little bonsai. It's down to nine men now. And we just got to kill that guy. But Price's general is in good shape either. He's also down to uh, nine as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a bit of a cough the past couple weeks. Uh, so here I am just kind of sitting pretty. Uh, Admiral is finally starting to reform his infantry. Going to be in two areas. One's going to be a frontal assault to distract. And the other side is going to come up on his left over here. Uh, and hit it from the rear. Meanwhile, the uh, main attack from my side with six infantry is coming from over here. Uh, as you can see, I have one bow here in the replay. I actually had three at this point, uh, so I'm not going to show as good skirmishing as it would have been. So we'll see how this battle actually turns out. So I'm going to triple speed it uh, because of a lot of skirmishing. I know some of you are bow fetishes and, and love the uh, the skirmishing, but I'm just going to triple speed it. Uh, we have uh, bows from Admiral, too, are also shooting. They're in a good spot here at the base of the hill. You can get a pretty decent angle uh, into the enemy. Bow cavalry there still shooting. Let's check out the enemy general. Yeah, still at nine men there. Yeah, so he's still in good shape. I mean, we're going to keep trying to shoot into the enemy general with our bows, too. Now, it's kind of funny. Uh, at this point, when we were trying to shoot into his general along with cavalry charges, uh, he was actually going to, like, start typing to us and taunting us and, like, saying, like, you know, dishonorable that we were, like, general sniping. Look, this is my opinion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with general sniping by any means as long as that means is balanced. Whether it's siege weapons, bows, or cavalry ambushes, it doesn't matter, in my opinion, uh, the general is fair game, as long as the means is balanced and not something like matchlock cheesing, which is completely ridiculous. Uh, it's fair It's fair game in my book. Uh, use any me any method you can to kill that general. Uh, there's there's nothing less dishonorable about using a cavalry ambush, like in my uh, one battle, a gift of fire and water, 
uh, which was a great cavalry ambush, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that uh, compared to like a bow attack or a, uh, a siege weapon shot even. There's nothing cheesy about it as long as the means itself is balanced. Uh, so here comes the main attack. Um, now watch with the Warcry and stuff, uh, Admiral's Frontal Assault is going to get completely routed. Uh, I know there were such great shape to start out, <coughs> but still, look at that, all that wavering, completely routed. Uh, by these monks. I don't know if they work right or not, but it doesn't seem to matter. There goes the mass route. Ah, there's the war cry, and there goes the entire line. Uh, just chain routing. Uh, but his general is going to get attacked by admirals. Look at that, down to three men. Uh, I think there was a corruption there. We did kill more at this point. He was definitely down to two men and wavering for a while. Uh, so we just kept going attack after attack. I actually, it got so bad, as you're going to see, I, I threw a rally. I think it's coming up here. Yeah, I threw a rally. Bonsai, my general, into his general. I was like, okay, bro, we gotta kill this general. I'm bringing my general over there and bonsaiing into him. We have to kill this guy. Because he just refused to die. All right. he, was, he was wavering this whole time. It's definitely corrupt. He was wavering into two men for so long. And after multiple attacks, too. He was also in this similar shape in the last cavalry attack he saw. And he just would not die a route. It was insane. So here comes my general over to finish the job. There's the bonsai. <laughs> And I'm just going to try and smash into the enemy general. Actually, I did go into this side first. Oh, no, maybe I didn't. Uh, here I go, into the general from the rear, uh, with some Nagi attendants too. Trying to route this guy's general, because we got to get him off the field. As soon as we do, we can secure the mass route. And here's my side kind of wavering too, which I don't think happened in the uh, actual battle. But anyway, they're back, doesn't matter. He's wavering as well. Uh, his main attack is coming up too. He's got a war cry on my katana samurai, but I'm going to be able to hold him off pretty well. Uh, his general is still there at two men. I tell you, this is just how it was. My general's bonsai and inspired, trying to kill this general, but we got the wavering. Uh, we had bows firing this whole time. It may uh, showing up having it may show up as having a wacky ending due to the corruption, but uh, or maybe it'll just maybe it'll just freeze. Maybe it'll just stop because maybe the the battle actually ended here in the timestamp and. Okay, Creative Assembly, get on these replays. Are you serious? This is the stupidest thing ever. How it just... Anyway, you get the gist of it, though. The replay, the corruption wasn't too bad. Uh, that's basically what happened. There, I had more bows, and there was more skirmishing, but, uh, you know, that's what happened. Uh, some frustrations there with the general, but overall, pretty good battle by uh, Admiral Price and I. Uh, some pretty decent work by Purple, too. Uh, was fairly skilled, so uh, shout-out to him, too, for doing a good job. Uh, but it's just those monks... I mean, I would feel dirty using them. They're just really, really good. Uh, in small numbers, they're not too bad. Again, purple only had three, so it wasn't really spamming them. But uh, a lot of people do. They just spam them and use, like, eight, and they can instantly route uh, melee lines of elite katana samurai with more ally upgrades. So, whatever. Uh, uh, that's just the state of the game right now, and uh, which is kind of why I don't really play too much anymore. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody.